Hey guys, I welcome you all to today's class. In today's class, we are going to see the topic of satellite town. So let's see what actually satellite town is. So if you have a confusion that any town that is being set up at satellite, no, it's not like such. But yes, satellite town has quite similar concept as if we compare it to the main satellites. Basically, satellites, what it does is, satellites is kind of a machine which revolves around any planet like Earth, right? So similarly, satellite towns are also those kinds of towns which are, you know, around, situated around a main town, right? So that kind of similar concept we will read here, right? So let's start. But before starting guys, let me tell you that uh, Geography Optional Smart Classes courses have already been started. So if you at all want to enroll yourself to the Hindi or English course, then you can download the Smart Rankers app from Google Play Store and the link to this Smart Rankers app is given in the description below. You can directly download it from there. All right. Let's see the brainstorming part first. That what actually I mean to say regarding satellite town. See, we have read in previous classes that yes, this region is urban region, this region is suburban region, and this two region togetherly formed a rural region out of which this part is rural hinterland and this part is rural urban fringe. All right. Is it clear? Now. What happens is that when there is huge population in urban area, people try to shift in suburban areas, right? But there are, comes a time when suburban areas also it gets overloaded, right? There is no place for people to live here or uh, the living expenses in these regions are quite, uh, you know, huge, right? So that's why people try to shift from this region to outer region. And these outer region are called as basically so, uh, rural urban fringes right now what happens is that there are few chunk of population who might think that let's not uh, you know shift to this place shift to some other places right or there might be few industries who might think that okay since government is supplying so much of subsidies if we set up our industry in different uh, you know remote corners so let's you know shift our industry into this remote corner and let's uh, you know build a township over there right so that you know we can accommodate people as well and we can hire people there because see for the employment people are ready to go anywhere right so that's why few companies basically they plan to settle in any region and they set up their industries or they set up their services sector over there and at the same time you know they also make sure that these residential facilities also are being set up here now this is that kind of settlement which is absolutely different from rural urban set, uh, rural urban fringe settlement because in this region basically all the i mean it is being made sure that all the basic amenities are at least fulfilled at the very initial stages it might be possible that yes all the you know 100 percent uh, facilities are not available like they cannot make sure that aims get set up aims hospital right so for aims they have to probably come to this region only right to major for the major major health services but what happened is that if this region eventually you know starts growing eventually all the facilities start setting setting up there then of course there might be a time come when you know here also all the facilities will be fulfilled right so overall basically this is the concept of satellite town that satellite town is a town which is set up outside the major town and right and and that has been set up due to many factors as what we have discussed here right so i believe that this is clear to you guys right so again in main cities there are yes huge buildings but in satellite towns also there there are few buildings but yes the in, in initial stage what happens is that the amount of building in satellite town is respectively less but as the time pass by as the as you know many different other industries also start setting up here you know many towns start setting up here right so this is the overall brainstorming of satellite town concept what we have discussed now let's come to the main definition part of satellite town before starting satellite town we'll discuss three basically concepts the first concept stands to be outgrowth the second concept stands to be what is suburbs and the third concept is regarding the satellite town so let's discuss it one by one first is outgrowth outgrowth happens when the, there is population outburst in the major city due to the urbanization 
migration right so what happens is that the people from this region try to shift to this region people from this region try to shift to this region from this region they try to shift here that from this region they try to shift here right so that is kind of outgrowth that is being observed in the basically areas right and outgrowth is done to the pre existing rural areas right in the form of uh, rural urban fringe or in the form of sub urbs in the very initial stage in which due to outgrowth the population starts settling in rural or sub urbs area right but remember one thing that in initial stages modern infrastructure facilities are respectively less in these areas Area. but as the time passed by as this region uh, turns out to be suburbs then of course there is often observed proper road facilities proper electricity facilities and proper water facilities because this region has also become a vote bank for the politicians right and politicians make sure that you know the basic amenities in these areas are getting fulfilled so that they could get the vote bank thing right so this is the proper definition of outgrowth now let's see suburbs so what are the suburbs when there is outgrowth in the neighborhood by area earlier which was rural area earlier so that time it the growth is being seen as suburbs that region turns out to be suburb region right and remember one thing this suburb region is having completely independence over the major cities 100% dependent on the major cities central business district and the settlement here whatever is being taken place in this very part of suburbs region that has happened due to the urban sprawl because see what happens is that due to increasing population due to urbanizations urban peoples are trying to settle in those those kind of region where they will get cheaper land right so that's what the urban sprawl happens right and of course in these regions more and more of population more and more of congestion used to happen over here now let's see the concept of satellite town see we have discussed that yes this is the major city or central business district around it you know there settles a suburb region but you know this suburb region is also being uh, partitioned by different other region like this is partition here through green belt in and around every region here is a green belt patches of green belt or there might be some natural barrier like rivers like forest forest is also a kind of natural barrier only right so you know away from this whole barriers there comes a region there come a town which is called satellite town which is not fully dependent see in the suburbs region this region is fully dependent on the major cities for its basic amenities right but in this case this region newly satellite uh, town that has been formed here is not fully dependent on major cities ha it might happen that the in initial stages yes there is some sort of dependency that is being observed but as the time passes by as the you know as this region develops and develops and develops you know the dependency keeps on decreasing in satellite town so i believe that yes basic concepts is very much clear to you right so similarly satellite town is a small metropolitan area can we say this yes because see this is also metropolitan area but this size is huge right but as compared to this size the size of this uh, urban unit or the small satellite town is not that huge but yes it has respectively lesser size than the major city but yes all the facilities all the urban amenities are very much available in this region right there is small or medium sized cities that are being observed near the large metropolis can we say this yes it is a small only or it might be medium at a longer run right but yes it is very much adjacent to nearby metropolis city if and if even if uh, uh, take the example of gurugram right that is a very good example of it right take the example of noida so these are the examples so in map if this is a map of india right if this is a map of india and this is a map of delhi then probably if this is delhi then gurugram will or noida will seem it will seems out to be yes here it is noida right so in this overall map we can clearly see that yes it is quite near the large metropolis right but yes if we zoom in to it then there will be clear distinction yet thus yes this is the uh, you know region of delhi and probably here it lies the noida wala region right so that's what is being said here that yes it is a small yes it is it might be medium size at a longer run which has been set up near the large metropolis and it is also acting as a central business district because as i've already said you that few of the industries few of the service sectors have planned to settle here just in order to make sure that they need to pay less amount of taxes to the government right so that's why they try to settle in this region and uh, 
uh, this leads to the formation of, of course, a central business district, which is happening to be seen here as well. But yes, that is not primary in nature, that is secondary in nature, right? Because it has only formed due to the fact that the ma major cities capacity has overshooted, right? And the government has given some sort of incentive to the companies to set up their industries over here, right? So, and also, also a few of the different other things are also observed here, like if a people lives in, uh, if the settlement lives in this kind of uh, satellite towns, then the quality of life of the people living over there is quite upgraded, right? As compared to this region, because see, if this here, if a people is come uh, living, then probably they have to pay a huge rent, right? Because at this, but at the same time, if the people is living in this region, the amount of rent that is to be paid by him is quite lesser as compared to this parent city. Right, so that's why automatically the quality of life gets better because here also you were earning fifty thousand rupees, but out of that, if you have to pay twenty five thousand as rent, only twenty five year thousand you are saving. But here, if you are saving ten thousand, then you are at uh, you know if you are paying ten rent as ten thousand, then probably here you are saving forty thousand. And guys, to watch the full lesson, you have to subscribe to Smart Rankers Education app. There you will be getting the courses in English as well as the courses in Hindi, right? So download Smart Rankers app from Google Play Store now. Thank you.